Microsoft has been busy updating and adding new features to the Lists app. Three recent updates help to improve my workflow so I can be more productive. Number three is my favorite, so let's jump in and take a look. This sample list is used to track software updates and I often filter by various criteria. For example, I may want to know something about what piece of software is going to be updated and the status. So first I'm going to choose the status by selecting the dropdown. I want to know what has recently launched. The next thing I want to know is which application was impacted. So I'm gonna come in here and select Microsoft Teams for this example. This is where the change comes in. Notice that there are two filter pills above the column headers. You can see one filter for status and one for product. After gathering the data needed, you can click the X next to any of the pills to remove that filter. In this example, I'm done looking at Teams and wanna check out updates to other apps. This time I will choose Outlook and Whiteboard. The new filters are added to the top of the page. You can remove the filters one by one or you can remove all of them by going to clear filters on the right side of the screen. When looking at my data set, I change filters a lot. This makes me more productive because it is faster to get through the data review. Next, we're gonna look at new ways to connect list data to Power BI. If you click the dropdown for integrate, we've had Power Apps and Power Automate for quite some time. Power BI is new and lets us visualize the list. This option will create a basic report using this data set. It may take a few moments to populate the report based on how much data you have. Power BI looks at the data and adds a few visuals based on what it thinks is the most important information. In this example, I don't need all of these bar charts, so I would modify the report. Now I will click the dropdown for export and here's another Power BI option. This is slightly different than integrate because it creates a data set that you will save to any workspace you have access to. In this case, I only have two and will choose my personal workspace and then click continue. As before, how long it takes to finish the process will depend on the size of your data set. When Power BI is done thinking about it, go to the selected workspace and here you can see I have a data set based on the roadmap. Click the three dots and select create a report. This time you will have a blank canvas so you can create your report from scratch. Now let's talk about my favorite update and that is rich text formatting in a multiple lines of text column. Click on the drop down next to your column, then choose column settings, and then choose edit. A pane will open on the right. Notice that the column is indeed multiple lines of text. The default is to have just the standard text box that creates big chunks of data. Click on more options and here you see a toggle button that lets you add rich text, pictures, tables, and hyperlinks. Toggle this to yes and then click save. To demonstrate some of the options, I will use edit in grid view. The notes column that we updated now has a toolbar at the bottom of the box that allows you to use basic formatting like bold and italics. One option that I use a lot is bullet points because it's easier for people to understand the data. The link option is useful because instead of plain text, you will have a clickable hyperlink. I use this a lot for sending people to other related resources. Next, I will select some text and then click the three dots. There are additional options such as changing the font color. If you want to call attention to a specific word or phrase, I can select it and then use the highlight option. There are multiple colors, so you can really get creative about how you format the information in this text box. The insert image option is also under the three dots. When you have made your changes, click the check mark to save. I will exit grid view, and I think this text box is much easier to read. This is just a sample of what you can do in lists. To learn more, check out the video on the screen, and I will see you there.